Hello dear friends and new gen users. My name is Paul and this is the third video tutorial related to Gene 2.2. Today you will learn how to use the generator number 1 and the new generator number 2. If you are new here, please subscribe to this channel, click the bell, give like and also join the Wave Hunters group on Facebook. The link is in the description. On the screen you see two genes, the first one I will use to demonstrate the settings for generator number 1 and the lower I will use to demonstrate the settings for generator number 2. So let's get started. In the first I will click the activation, then the language, the skin, the game, the generator number 1, rating, and I fill in the necessary parameters just what I need and click the settings all is running and I will make the settings for generator number 2 so again I will repeat the same process the language the skin, the game, now the generator number 2, rating and necessary parameters. And click again the settings. At this moment we have to fill in the previous numbers from the previous draws I have three drawing days and we'll copy it here and now I can start it but you see I got the problem because I have to fill in the seed 1 and 2 and swap 1 and swap 2 to be able to run the gene because the generator number one needs these uh, numbers to be functional and to work so i will put here whole numbers it just must be bi uh, bigger than zero something from one to whatever you like and it should differ one from the other so all four numbers should be different and no, no, none of them can be the same so by this we will assure that the sequence will be always unique and different and now i can click again start and you see it was marked by green and it's running at this moment, as this lottery is using only one drawing machine, the second seed is disabled and the quality for random number is also disabled as it's not used. And when we look to the output box, here is the signature of the generator number 1, so G and 1 before the mode. And here you see the used seeds to generate the sequence here. And when I go to second generator with the GN2, I will again fill in the numbers. And there are the numbers and I'm ready to start it. So it's running without problem, there is no error. And these fields are empty and not checked because they are not used for this generator number 2. If I scroll down, here in the output box, you see that the seed area is empty, so it's not used. And here is the signature G2 before the mode, so that is the signature that for this output was used the generator number 2. Secondly, you see that the seed 1 and 2 was automatically disabled because they are not used and the quality is disabled because there is only one drawing machine.
but the quality remains here because it measures the quality of generated random numbers and not quality of just a seed. So that's the settings and if you look here the second is a little bit simpler but both of them in fact are simple and I recommend as this G2 is new recommend to use this GN2. And now I will describe both generator in more detail. So when we look for generator number one, we are using initial seed and it goes to function where the random number is function of seed and from that function we will get random a number. And if for example we have the range from 1 to 10 then there will be the random numbers in this range from 1 to 10 for example 5 10 or 1 whatever and together with this we will get a new seed which is different from the initial seed and in case we end the process this seed is stored as the last one so i can show it just here so here is the initial seed which was used right there and when I end it you see there is the last seed and uh, this helps me to start the generator from the last save point from the last seed. So if I want to continue again to generate I click the transfer click activation setting and you see that the last seed was moved to the initial position and so from that point the generation the generation is started and when i end it i get a new last seed so this i can repeat again and again still doing the same sequence without interruption if this process is not ended the seed goes to other check function where it's checking if this seed, the new seed is equal to the initial seed. In this case, then we should do something else, but mostly it's not the case and after millions of cycles, it's still not the same like the initial one. So it goes back to the function of seed and it generates again a new random number like in chain a new seed which is different from the previous one and then it goes still in circle in infinite loop and still generated generating the random numbers in case this new seed is equal to initial seed then it goes to the other function and where the seed is function of swap number and here plays the role the initial swap which is right here that is the initial swap number and this helps to generate a different seed which also assured that we will get a new sequence which will not repeat or will not be same with the previous sequence so we can call it like a swapped seed and then it goes again in the loop until the seed is equal to initial seed if we end the process, the swap is also stored like the seed number. So this we can see here. So it's it's stored. And in this case, it's the same because the swap number was not changed yet because it was not needed. As I said, it can change uh, very rarely after millions of cycles. So here we are still keeping the same swap number so when it's not ended and it uh, needs to be changed then it will change also the swap number if necessary and that's the principle of generator number one now let's look for generator number two to run this generator we need a time impulse and this time impulse go to function where the random number is function of time and from that we are generating a new number and then it goes back in a loop and it's still generating a new numbers and you see there is no seed or swap number needed 
at all and you can see it's number one or two or draw one or two so it means that uh, the gene has two independent random number generators so if you select generator number two it will have the same generator for uh, drawing machine one and the same principle for drawing machine two but both will be will be will be uh, different or generating unique sequence of random numbers you cannot have for example for drawing machine one generator number one and for drawing machine two generator number two it will be always uh, for two drawing machines the same type of of the generator now let's look for one advantage of the generator number one so if we look here and you generate really nice output with nice wave and result but you forget to make this wave longer with more predictions to the future with generator number one you can make and reproduce this wave and make it longer and here you see how at first you will make a new settings where you take the seed from the first column and you will place them as the initial seed to to the to this cells right here and for the um, settings you will make count of future lots bigger than zero in this case it's two and when you start it you will in the first start it will generate for you first wave and it will be exactly the same wave but with more numbers for prediction one and two so the wave is even longer so this is the way how you can make the wave longer if you got it from generator number one but you forget to make it longer if we do the same with this generator number two then you will realize it's not possible because the first thing there is nothing to to read or take the seeds the second thing it's not using the seeds and finally we cannot then extend the wave and to produce uh, more numbers here but this is a very small disadvantage because when you uh, save or end the gene you can always start from the last save point only the difference is that you are not starting from this, the, the same place but you are generating let's say from another area and now let's compare these two generators one beside the other so the generator number one has a more complex interface and more uh, functions there and the generator number two is simpler you can imagine the generator number one as a lake of random numbers where you can search for big fishes and monsters and for nice wave but the generator two you can imagine as an ocean of random numbers where you can search for more monsters and even for giants and great waves furthermore you can imagine the generator number one as uh, you are trying to pull out the rope with random numbers and you are still pulling out the same rope and when you end the generation it's like to stop pulling out the rope uh, and freeze but then you can again pull out still the same rope after some time so this sequence is not interrupted but with the generator number two is a little bit different story so when you look here and you will end the generation it's like to throw the hook into the different location of the ocean so you can store the generation but when you start again it's like to throw again to different area of the ocean and take out the random numbers always this also assure you that every time you run the gene you will get the unique sequence which will not repeat so you cannot throw the hook to the same point 
it's not even possible or it can happen once 10,000 years, let's say. Finally, I forgot to mention on the previous video tutorials that the Gin 2.2 has more than 457 lines compared with Gin 2.1 in the whole program code and 46 lines more in the core code compared with the Gin 2.1 and you see how many lines is in Gin 2.0 and it's still increasing the lines of the code so that's it i hope it helps and it was comprehensive enough to understand these two generators and i recommend to use the second one and if you like what i do you might consider become my patron on patreon where i have already 17 patrons or just simply donate my work via paypal me and the smallest thing you can always do is just to subscribe like and share it everywhere where you can that's it take care and see you all on new another video update this was the last video tutorial related to gene 2.2 have a great time and goodbye